for joining us um, at the session today. I think it's going to be very interesting and informative, and uh, I'm very pleased to, to introduce Mahendra Durai, who uh, is my colleague here at BMC. Mahendra works in our IT department, but more importantly, in his role as the VP of IT Infrastructure and Operations, he is a practitioner of uh, you know, modern day and, and best, best in class uh, IT management. And at BMC, of course, we're not only a software company, we're also a business with 6,000 employees and a complicated um, IT infrastructure. And Mahendra has responsibility for, for overall management of that. And today he's going to be talking about balancing IT and business demands and his experiences and best practices and benefits, the business and technical benefits that we've seen in operating our own cloud environment. So thank you very much, Mahendra, and I'll hand it off to you. Thanks, Jason, and uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us uh, this afternoon. I'm going to walk you through our journey in terms of how we evolved to implementing a private cloud. Uh, you know, what are some of the needs from a business perspective that uh, we see on a day-in and day-out basis? Uh, and uh, to give you a quick uh, perspective, uh, from an agenda perspective, I'll quickly give you a, an overview of um, – what we do as an IT organization, how we support, how we are structured, and what are some of the business demands and drivers that are creating the need to have elastic capacity, uh, you know, create the need to have an environment where we can quickly provision, manage, support, and uh, benefit from uh, both a private as well as a public cloud uh, paradigm. So for us, uh, you know, we set out on our journey to build a, a private cloud uh, actually three or four years ago. You know, in te uh, we did not at that time, uh, the whole concept of cloud computing was called something else, uh, right? It was more about uh, utility computing, um, uh, infrastructure on demand, etc. cetera. And uh, as we evolved and virtualization uh, took firm hold in how IT organizations are, uh, you know, using their infrastructure to provide services to their business, we evolved more and more into an environment where we had to manage uh, not only virtual environments but a heterogeneous environment uh, in terms of applications, server storage, network, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll walk you through our journey, uh, what we are actively working on right now, what are some of the things that we are proof of concepting and, and excited about, and then uh, wrap it up with a quick overview of uh, some of the benefits we've been able to leverage uh, or realize by leveraging the, the private cloud and um, also the things that we've been able to accomplish with leveraging the public cloud. So quick overview about BMC IT. We are uh, BMC as a company. We are about a $2 billion company. So in terms of revenue, uh, we we bring in about two uh, two billion dollar dollars, and uh, from a support perspective, uh, the IT organization here supports about a little over six thousand employees. And uh, if you look at it, we are divided, uh, uh, you know, half from a uh, from a uh, the end user population perspective, uh, R and D employees, and then uh, about sixteen hundred in sales and services, and. 1,300 in business operations. So I have an environment where, you know, we have a tremendous number of knowledge workers who are looking for a quick self-service uh, type environment for, um, for most needs in terms of uh, getting their business objectives met. We are a global company. We have offices uh, in pretty much uh, uh, every country where, uh, you know, you, you can, uh, every country in every continent probably except uh, uh, Antarctica. And uh, uh, the big locations for us are uh, Houston, Texas, uh, San Jose, California, Boston, Massachusetts, and Austin. Uh, in the U.S., uh, we have a large uh, location in Pune, India, and also a, a fairly big development uh, center in Tel Aviv, uh, Israel. And we have... Um, other big offices in Amsterdam, in uh, in the in the UK, uh, Melbourne, etc. And we are supporting um, um, environments uh, or users in in all these geographies. Uh, where is our infrastructure concentrated? We have data centers in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, Houston, Houston, Texas. These are the data centers that support our uh, our production applications. And then we have. Uh, 
lab environments where our developers are building code that we sell you know, for, uh, as a company. So we call it our software factory, just like a uh, you know, a, a manufacturing company that is the manufacturing floor for us as a as a company, and that is where we have a significant investment uh, of our uh, resources, compute resources, hardware, software, um, and storage. And um, while our private cloud consists of both the uh, production environment as well as the R and D lab environment, the biggest chunk of our of our cloud is um, uh, in these R&D labs. And uh, from a location perspective, we have a, a fairly large presence in Houston, in Austin, uh, in San Jose, uh, Tel Aviv. We have a fairly uh, sizable location um, in uh, Pune in terms of Pune, India, in terms of uh, how we structure and build out these labs to support the needs of our developers, our consultants, our sales folks, and our customer support folks. Um, so this is, uh, you know, so from a geographical perspective, we have infrastructure in all those uh, areas, and we are actively working to leverage.